Hey YouTube, I just wanted to come at you with a fast little video. Like, I just figured it'd be like a funny and short little video. Don't mind my awful nails, they're peeling off. Um, I just have to leave for work in like 10 minutes so I didn't have time to like fix them up. And my lack of filming because I went up the mountains where there's no internet connection, it was a little bit spur of the moment. So, um, anyway, without further ado, worse packaging fails. Um, number, not number one, just <laughs> one that I think is really funny is just the Physician's Formula pH Matchmaker, um, blush. Look at this thing. It is like a clunky box. Why do you need all this packaging for a blush that's that big and is that thin? You really need that much space for your crappy brush look at that the pan is so thin and the packaging is just ginormous why do you need this for that one blush no wonder this is $15 the packaging is huge they had to like empty out a whole plant for one plastic thing of this it's just ugh, so annoying how big it is Another packaging fail that is just really fast that I can't stand is the fact that the MAC mineralized skin finishes are just see-through. I can't stand that there's no mirror. Like, it really bothers me how there's no mirror in these compacts. Like, when I want a compact, I want it to have a little mirror so I can see what I'm doing, not just have a powder in a clear little compact. That's just a fast little one. Another one that annoys me about no mirror, I love the Too Faced palettes, but every single time I open them, I'm like, oh, I'll just use the mirror, and then I forget that there is no mirror here. And that kind of annoys me, how this big, and the fact that, like, just for that little brush you need that thick of a thing, drives me nuts. And, like, the little cards, like, I guess it's a cute idea, but I never actually follow the cards. You really need this whole clunky box with no mirror for that. I know they've made them thinner, I've heard, but still, the fact that there's no mirror gets on to me. Um... <laughs> Another one that cracks me up is the NYC New York Color Smooth Skin Liquid Makeup Foundation. And this is not a bad foundation. It's like $2.99. What gets to me is that it's a mousse foundation. Like a thick mousse foundation with no pump and no squeeze tube. So... Nada. Nothing. It's like nothing comes out of it. I need to scoop a bobby pin into it, which gets all gross and everywhere. Like, what's the point of having something that nothing's gonna even come out of, no matter how hard I try? Nothing's coming out of this. It hasn't even moved. It hasn't even moved in there. <sighs> NYC. Good foundation. Fix the darn packaging. You have a squeegee tube for that other foundation that I don't like. Get a squeegee tube for this. I don't know why I call it a squeegee tube. It's a squeeze tube. Another packaging feel that I don't like is like these e.l.f. lip balms. First of all, and I don't mind that they're like giant and plastic. I mind the fact that like sometimes you get to screw these on and they like... This one stays on okay, but I have other like stuff like this where you can never match the lid up to the top of it. And it looks like this. And it's like... Ugh. And in, in terms of the, the e.l.f. nail polish, I can never match the lid up. Like, that's the tightest it goes, but it's like doesn't perfectly match up most of the time it's like in my drawer like that and it's so annoying looking and this isn't tight enough but that is and then that's like weird and it's not matching up why does elf make their nail polishes so the lid doesn't match up i don't know i just have no idea but anyway yeah i just thought this would be a fun and quick little video of my biggest packaging fails in terms of what the heck were they thinking when they packaged this stuff to make it the most inconvenient thing on the planet. But yeah, now I have to get ready for work real fast, YouTubers, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and bye!